Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, Edge of Reality, Suicidal, and, uh... Today I've been reading... Uh... Can't remember the name of it. Dosanko Gyaru... Something, rather. Uh... Dosanko Gyaru is mega cute. It's a uh, it's a trash tier, total garbage. Just just absolute garbage. Um, like Yaru manga. Um, like not good. <laughs> if, if you like it, then it's fine. But it, it's it's fan servicey, horny bait, garbage, right? I even the people who like it. Okay, the people who are reading this and being like, "Oh, this is this is this is my kind of manga." Even those people are gonna read it and be like, "Yeah, well, it's trash," but because <laughs> it's it's uh it's 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 trash. Anyway, it's a it's a gyaru um, manga, which for those who don't know, for the for the uninitiated the uninitiated of us, uh, a gyaru manga is well, a gyaru in general is uh. Um, like, uh, kind of like fashionista-ish in, in English terms. It's not really, but kind of. Uh, in the manga world, it generally represents, um, like a teen school romance where the, uh, the female lead is, uh, you know, a little bit of a delinquent, kind of, generally pretty nice, very nice, but a little bit of a delinquent, um, pretty, um, what's the word, uh, uh, yeah, nice, I'm trying to think of the word, so, there, there is a word for it, but she, um, She's very open about, like, showing off her body. I forget what the word for it is, but, like, she'll, like, not nude, necessarily, but, uh, you know, she, she wants to show off cleavage, she wants to show off her butt, she wants to show off all these kinds of things. There's a word for for this, I can't remember what it is. Um, uh, so, you know, typically like that, and then, uh... The male lead is is generally speaking some like nerdy nice guy kind of kind of person, right? Uh, and then she and then the uh, the Garu uh, female lead will like tease the boy and they'll slowly develop romance over time. Is typically how it goes. Um, but uh, the Garu in general is just. Uh, Kind of just, just like somebody who, who, who's, you know, into like all the makeup and fashion and um, trends and all that kind of stuff. Like that's that's what a gyaru is. But uh, within the manga world, when when uh, when the title has gyaru in it, it's it's typically the the, the teen romance with the uh, the uh, nerdy boy getting chased by the uh, you know the hot. Uh, provocative um, female lead um, and uh, just from that whole like description of it I'm sure it doesn't really give you a very good perception of it cause it's, it's, it's garbage stuff right like it's provocative erotic it's fan service to hell um, and then the the main character is always just like an idiot and a moron <laughs> and it's just, it's just trash right um this one in particular is like super trash um all of the girls have enormous tits okay that's 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 just, that's standard though for for most garu uh manga is uh, is enormous tits and i don't just mean like you know like 
big boobs. You know, like, wow, she's got big... No, 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 no. I mean enormous. Like, enormous. <laughs> like, like, probably like 30% of your body weight is made up by your tits. Enormous. You know? Unrealistically large. No woman in the world would ever willingly choose to, to live with these if they were if they were natural pretty much you know like you'd, you'd probably see a lot of people getting uh, breast reduction surgery on on these kinds of honkers you know <laughs> like enormous like world record kind of like huge right and then uh, they want to show these off right they want to they want to show these enormous tits off because that's like the main draw of the manga is these enormous tits it's the uh, <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Without the big boobs, what do you got? You got just trash. You want to at least have trash with boobs. Um, so, so all of the clothes that the uh, the female lead, or all of the female character, like literally all of the girls, will have enormous tits. Side character shows up, too bad, enormous tits. <laughs> like just enormous, and uh, all of them. Because the creator is like, I don't know, if I'm going to draw a girl, why am I going to give her small tits? I'm going to give her big tits. Why am I going to willingly choose to, to make a girl with small tits? Like, who the heck wants that, dude? Why would you want small boobs when you can have big boobs? I'm like, I don't know, dude, because it's like, there's some modicum of realism involved here. Um, so anyway, they... Uh, Skip the wave, dude. They, uh, in, in with any of the clothes that the female lead is wearing, it's just like completely wrapped around each individual boob. It's not even just like, you know, like a tight shirt. Like, I'm wearing a tight shirt right now. You can see, like, kind of an outline of, of boobage, you know? I'm looking down to, like, examine. Um, you can see an outline of boobage there, right? Um,. It's not a very tight shirt, but you, you, you can see an outline of boobage, but you can't see, like, it's not like a, the, the, the shirt is wrapped around each individual tit, and you can, like, see the, the distinct shape of each. You, you can see sort of, like, a, a vague outline of, like, there's boobs here, you know? And, uh... <laughs> in, 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 in this manga, um... It perfectly wraps around. I'm like, this shirt is like 18 times bigger than it needs to be for her because there's all this extra fabric to like carefully wrap around each boob individually, like all the way from like the top of the boob to like back up under the under boob. And I'm like, this isn't how shirts work, dude. Like, that's not. <laughs> they'll they'll be wearing like a blazer or like a sweater or something like that, and it like wraps under the under boob. And I'm like not how boobs work dude and then anytime the characters are moving in a panel the boobs are like flapping you know and they're never in sync you know I don't know why manga and anime artists always choose to have the boobs out of sync when the characters walking because when I walk around right like I'm bouncing in my chair right now my boobs move together right because my torso is going up and then my torso comes back down both of the boobs are going the same right Especially because, you know, there's a bra on and it kind of like equalizes the weight to a certain extent and kind of, you know, takes the weight off of the, the chest. Like, it, it, it's fairly consistent, right? Up and down, up and down with the, uh, with the boobs, right? Trust me, I have boobs. I know how boobs work, okay? And, uh, you might get a little bit offset at times if you're hopping downstairs or something like that. But never to the point where one is like full up, just like stretched away from the body, just like torpedo titted into the sky and w the other one is like torpedo titted like directly outwards and it's just like stretched out and I'm like what the heck is this dude it's terrible it's just so stupid I don't know why they do it I don't know why like like and the other thing is like these are enormous tits right like they gotta weigh a lot you know you know what much it takes to like flap a tit that size all the way up to like torpedo the sky 
You know, you know how much it takes to like do that. <laughs> like, it's not gonna just happen while you're walking. There's gonna be a bit of bouncing, but they're not gonna just like flap around like weird windmills in the sky. Like, <laughs> they they kind of you know jiggle a little bit, but they don't they don't flap. But there's always there's always this flapping that goes on with them. And it's always it's all it's so fun. So I'm reading Dosanko Gyaru, um, but <laughs> if if you like bad stuff, that's just stupid. It, it's it's good, but it's bad. It's so bad. And I don't know why it like happens all the time in anime and manga, where where the boobs just flap, like like they're weightless, <laughs> you know. Like, have you ever, like, I, I, well, I was about to say, have you ever seen a boob? But I'm like, okay, no, actually, I get it. I get it. They, they, they haven't ever had a hands-on experience with boobs before, so they don't know how boobs actually work in the real world. I, I, I have answered my own question. But I, I tell you, they don't flap like that. If you ever watched anime or manga, you know exactly the kind of flap I'm talking about. Two boobs kind of, like, flapping in the wind. Doesn't make any sense, dude. I'm feeling generous. They, they don't they don't do that. That doesn't that doesn't happen. Now you can like, you know, flap them yourself, I guess, if you wanna. But they're not gonna just do that as you're walking around. And certainly not like the shirt isn't gonna like completely wrap around each individual boob. That doesn't happen, dude. Especially when your boobs are that big that they're like world record breaking. Like you need just so much extra fabric to be able to completely wrap the the boob like that. Like it's just, come on, what are you doing? Like what are you doing? Anyway, it's uh, it's a genre that I like. This whole like Yaru, um, genre. It's it's a fun one. But uh, it's not—it's not very—it's not, not a very good one, you know. There, there are a couple that are pretty good, I think. Um, what is this? Is it my dress-up darling? I'm trying to think of the English name for it. I can't remember the Japanese name for it either. It's like Sono Bisku Dalua something or other. Can't remember. Can't remember the name of it. But uh, it's the one with the uh, the cosplayer and then the the dude who draws dolls. Um, yeah, that one's pretty good. The main character isn't like totally moronic. He's a little bit awkward, a little bit strange, perhaps, but he's not like just a total moron, you know? Um, actually, on the topic of Dosanko. Uh, Gyaru. One thing about it that I do like is uh, what happens oftentimes is in manga or anime, uh, the main male lead will walk in on a uh, on a female character who is in the process of getting dressed or something. And, and the female character will be completely at fault, you know, like they wouldn't have locked the door, they wouldn't have responded when it was being knocked at, they'll be getting dressed somewhere that they shouldn't be getting dressed at, you know, like whatever. And the male character will have a very reasonable reaction of like, seeing it, sorry, closing the door and leaving, you know? And then, uh, for some reason, they always just like, slap. The, the dude and I'm like you're at fault dude and like who cares you saw your tits like get over it if you didn't want him to see your tits and you should have responded to the knocks you should have locked the door you shouldn't have gotten changed on a bus you shouldn't have like you're you're at fault here okay it's not it's not like he walked in and like groped you you know he walked in didn't know you were in there was like sorry and left like you know be, be, be sorry for him for having to, to see you. Maybe he didn't want to see you. He's thinking selfish piece of garbage. Um, in this one, though, they handled it pretty good. 
because it happened. It always has to happen. It's, it, it's not a question of will it or won't it happen. It's, it's a question of when and how. Um, it, it's, it's a must-have in any kind of uh, fan service uh, manga or anime. Um, so it happened. She was getting dressed on a bus and uh, he like walked in or whatever. And, uh, and this isn't a spoiler, by the way. Um, he, he, he walked in and he saw her and he was like, Oh, sorry, I just wanted to grab my, my lunch. Can I come up and grab it? And she was like, uh, yeah, sure. And then they had lunch together. And that was, that was it. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's all that there was to it. Because it was just an honest mistake. Nobody needs to get, like, you know, physically abused by it. And, like, tortured. You know, <laughs> you know, like, that's, that's how it would happen. She's embarrassed. He's sorry. But ultimately, like, he's like, well, I don't know. She was like, I should have got, I don't know, like, you know, the, the, the bottom line, don't get dressed on the, the bus, dummy. You know? And, uh, yeah, it was nice to see that they didn't do it in the, the stupid way, because oftentimes it, it does get done in the stupid way. And, uh, yeah. It wasn't. So that that's one thing that I appreciate about it, at least, is that they uh, they didn't handle that in a stupid way. But uh, a lot of a lot of manga and anime do. I'm like, I just I don't get it. Like, and it's not victim blaming. She's not a victim. <laughs> you know, like there is no victim here. Nobody nobody was like hurt because of it. You know, I mean, you know, you might be a little bit ashamed or whatever because you were seen naked or whatever, but like, lock the door then. Answer when somebody knocks. You know, like, come on. Put up the little note that says it's in use or something. You know, like, like there's a billion ways you can prevent it. It's not like you know, make sure you don't wear anything provocative when you go outside. No, it's like you know, make sure you lock the door when you're getting dressed in the bathroom. Like. Kind of what you should do. It, it's your responsibility, in fact, when uh, when when you're doing it, to not subject others to uh, to your naked visage. Anyway, any oozle. Want to play Portal Two? Specifically the co-op. I don't have anybody to play it with. And I also don't really want to do it. It's like I want to play with a friend of mine who hasn't played it. And uh, and watch as they struggle through the puzzles. That's what I want to do. But I think all my friends have played it. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. Who, who am I going to do this with? And then I could go find other people who like... I, I, I could find somebody to play Portal 2 with. The co-op. Like just fine, but like I wanna I wanna play it with a friend, you know? Now that's bullet time. Somebody who hasn't played through it before. I got tons of friends who'd be willing to play through it, but they've all played. Got probably a few friends who wouldn't be willing to play through it, but uh you know. Alright, that's the wrong way. I got plenty of friends who haven't played through it, but they probably wouldn't be willing to play through it. Let's get you restocked. Um but I wanna. It's it's a fun game, you know, Portal 2. How do we get onto Portal 2? I don't know. It suddenly popped into my mind, and now I'm talking about it, dude. It's a fun game, though. Uh, the The main story is is just hilarious and really, really fun with all the puzzles and stuff. And then the co-op is uh, is also amazing. It's an entirely separate uh, storyline, and really, really cool. I really like it. Portal 1, I believe, also has multiplayer, I think. You have, like, uh, Steam Workshop maps or something like that. Not sure. I never got into to Portal 1's multiplayer stuff. I think it has it, but I just I never got into it. I have, like, a few hundred hours in it, but <laughs> never, never did any multiplayer. I just kept playing through the main game. Over and over and over again. Hundreds of times. Back when I was speedrunning it. The perfect game for a speedrun, or it was anyway, back in the day. I think I talked about it before, but it was uh, it was the perfect length for me. And then uh, we kept getting better and better at it, and all of a sudden it was like too short. I'm like, I don't like it anymore. It's too short. Hello. 
Do it and die. Then I, uh, I stopped. Hello. Don't do that! I heard it right as the flesh pound was charging at me, and I'm like, oh no. I don't like that sound. It's not the kind of sound you want to hear there, dude. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Please, 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 please. No! <laughs> ah, I got a little bit tilted. I got a little bit tilted. What can you do? What can you do, dude? Nothing. That's what. Anyway, that'll do it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.